Well, Club Shay Shay is getting messier and messier. Uh, it's almost like Wendy Williams didn't go anywhere. She just got a weight set. Um, and so Monique was on. Every time I see Monique these days, she's on uh, doing some greasy ass video with her and her daddy complaining about something or working out. I don't know nobody that work out that much and gain weight unless every crunch you do has got capped in the front of it. But apparently she goes on Club Shay Shay and tells the story about how she came on my radio show and I wasn't there at the time. And uh, uh, my co-host Jasmine Sanders played a game that we played all the time with everybody called Would You Rather. She apparently was so offended by that that she says she got off. She called me. Monique did. And she said I was very dismissive. Like, huh? Monique's a liar. When Monique did call me, I heard her, her complaints. I listened to her and I pulled the segment. So if I had been as dismissive as she alleges I was, that segment would have aired. It didn't because I respected her wishes. She's a liar. It's, it's also befuddles the shit out of me how somebody who has a comedian talks as much shit about everybody else as she does. She has the temerity to be offended about anything as much shit as you say about people. Then she encouraged everybody. Uh, allegedly, it stems from the fact that I used to always talk shit about her on video after video. And she encouraged her sweet babies to look at the video and find them. Do that. Do exactly what she says. And you know what you're not going to find? You're not going to find any evidence of that because Monique is a liar. She's lying about that. But what you will find is Monique talking shit about some uh, uh, alleged contract dispute we had. Look at the ticket. It says D.L. Hughley, then Monique. She knows the story. But what she did in response to that, she talked about my dog, my wife. This broad even bought out my daughter's personal trauma. My daughter was Monique bought that shit out and, t and told the world that I allowed my daughter to be the lying mother. She knows she was lying. And it only stopped when everybody from my family checked her. It's interesting. You know what else you won't see Monique doing? You won't ever see a, her with her family, videos with her children or grandchildren. Because nobody fucks with me. How do you have sweet babies when your own babies don't fuck with you? How do, how do you love us for real when there's no evidence of anybody loving you for real? Except your daddy, who you apparently have to pay. And FYI, daughters are paid for by daddies. Not daddies who get paid by their daughters. You will you know what else you won't see Monique doing? Telling jokes. Monique, uh, if she just spends as much time actually writing jokes and writing her Netflix special as she did complaining about not having one, it wouldn't have been trash. It got the wor worst reviews of any Netflix special in history because that's what Monique does. She complains and she has grievances. You never see her being a human being. You never see her being sweet and warm to people, except when she's using it to butter somebody up to get something. There's a reason why everywhere she go, shit starts. Everywhere she goes. How is it that nobody fucks with you? Not even your family. How do you? Well, I was on the road getting it. I get it every goddamn week. Look at my schedule versus yours. See how much I'm going. And I still manage to have a relationship that I cherish with my children. Can you say the same? You can't. Because all you do is talk about your grievances and who did you wrong. There's a reason you fought by yourself. There's a reason you got to pay a man to love you. It's sad. There's an old adage that says you can't buy love. It's a shame, Monique, that you probably always will have to. Like I said, today is going to be a jam-packed show. <clears throat> and just sit back, stay your ass on my channel, and just keep on watching. Just keep on watching me dissect these clips. Keep on watching me post, you know, reacting to these clips. I got y'all. I mean, news channel, I got, trust me, I got y'all. Right? Now, we have D.L. Huey, comedian, y'all know him. He responds and says that Monique is lying. You know, he says Monique is lying after a latest interview with Shannon Sharp. Right? Cool. Number one, why are you wearing glasses and those? Why are you wearing shades indoors? Like, let's start there. Anyone who wears shades indoors, for me, you you just, it's, it, you, you just, you, man, you piss me off. You piss me off. Two, it's Black History Month, guys. It's Black History Month, you know? Three, oh, there's a bunch, there's about to be a bunch of comedians responding 
bunch of people responding. It's going to be a whole... These two weeks. two Trust me. Two weeks, guys. It's two weeks. We are in for a rude awakening. You know what I mean? Um, and three... Hear me out. Like it or not, it's definitely his right to speak on anything that was said concerning him. Just like anyone else, it would it would, would respond if something was said about them. None of us were there to actually know who's lying or not. And all we get is video footage and what we see. What we see is what we get. I like them both. I like Monique. I like Huey. It's just... It's, we just have to take the story of face value. But everyone that was mentioned in this interview, or anyone that has, was mentioned in any other interview, has the right to respond. And that's my case about it. What do you guys have to say about this? Let's go. Let's keep the comments. I'm going to reply. We're going to try to have a conversation about this. I promise. Subscribe.